Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good, good. I am doing well, too, because it's an exciting day in Illinois women's basketball with uh, the three young ladies that have decided to commit. Um, when we started this process six months ago as a staff, we wanted a backcourt player that we felt could swing two different positions. We feel like we got that with Jan Janiah Ephraim. We also identified we wanted a shooter. Uh, I think we certainly got that with Ariel Scott. And then we also want to anchor our inside game with the presence and with Mackenzie Blazik. I think the one thing that I, I'm so proud of this class is that it's a class that embraced our vision and what we wanted to change, where we were heading. And, um, and the trust that they put in our program means a lot to me. So this class is always going to be some class that I'm going to be very, very proud of. And I think we answered some of the questions we wanted to do as a staff when we started. Well, when I got here, obviously I knew that she had committed elsewhere. And, um, you know, at that point, that's where she was going. But as soon as she let us know that it was open, um, we were there. And we were there. And uh, the one thing I think is the relationship we developed her through the process, because obviously there were some other really good schools there also. And um, I think our program is relationship built. Everybody kind of talks about family. you you got to live that, not just talk about it. And I think that's what she sensed in us. Um, and also, if you even look at her quote, she is the trend of what we want the Illinois players to think about as the University of Illinois as a women's basketball program. She, she's where we want to go. We want our Illinois kids to stay in Illinois. And um, I think she sensed our vision, and I'm really proud that uh, she stayed home. Perception of Urbana High Athletics generally as far as you know? Um, six months ago, I... Uh, <laughs> Urbana Athletics, I know that, that she, she did a great job there. They, they've uh, been extremely successful. Um, so we're excited that she's with us. First game Friday, obviously you coached thousands of games. What's new, what's different, what's exciting about having this opportunity here? Well, what's new and different is that I was extremely familiar with everybody I was playing before. Now new and different, we're looking at new uh, competition. But the thing I do has, I have a great uh, coaching staff that's doing their job and is familiar. We've got player, coaches, uh, Coach Kirkland and Coach Malone, that have been here. And that insight has been really valuable to us, knowing. And plus, you know, we've, we've, we've scrimmaged some people. It's given me some insight. So uh, I, I pl I've done this long enough that every game, the next game, is the biggest. And that's how we look at it. Coach, back to recruiting. You've talked all through your time here so far that the biggest adjustment has been getting into this 24-7 of recruiting here. How do you reflect on your first go-around with this now that your first class is signed? Well, I think the first go-around is, um, I think the fr most frustrating thing is when we first came here, it was like you'd call kids up and they would, well, we don't, haven't known you for five to seven years. Um, that's a tough thing to catch up. I've been here six months. But like I said, keeping staff here, I think those relationships are some of the reasons why, why we're sitting with this class, is that we had those relationships and built a little bit. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing that... Um, you want to start developing, and we're working it as hard as we can. Uh, I can't speed time up, but I certainly think people know that we're here now, and we're, we're working hard to develop those relationships, not only in Illinois, the Midwest, but if we, you know, we're going to recruit wherever we have to to get the best players here and that want to be here and want to see this vision completed. Um, based off last season, Brandy, um, do Strong year as a freshman. Um, what do you see from her? Just I guess going from that freshman stage to. I think that, you know, Brandy is a kid that's always in the gym and wants to get better. It's a kid that's up in the office, is always watching film. Um, when you have someone that wants to get better like that, you know their future is bright. Uh, I think they all realize, too, that she's not, you know, that sophomore class is not going to surprise anybody this year. Um, and I've told them that you have to understand, you know, they know who you are. And uh, to make that adjustment and make sure that you're playing at another level and understanding that, uh, I think they're embracing. to buy into your program as you get ready to begin your season tomorrow what is that thing about your program that they, you want them to see well I think every coach is going to talk about hard work the grittiness the motor that we show um, but you know when kids get on campus a lot of what they're going to do is they're going to talk to the current kids that are here 
That's one of the biggest things that they want to know. You know, they're, and I think that I hope that some of our best recruiters are actually going to be the kids that are on this team and how we treat them, how, how um, we know them as individuals, um, how hard we do work. That commitment, that's the communication I think is some of the strongest things that sometimes we miss. You know, you go out on the road, you watch them, you're at gyms, but that's what the relationships people keep talking about. That's the relationships that I think build family. Um, and then when it's kid talking to kid, that's when it becomes real. So, yes, tomorrow I hope that you see those things. I see that grittiness. I think you hope you'll see how hard we're going to work. Um, and that stuff doesn't hide when you get on a basketball court. Hopefully you'll see that family atmosphere and the sense of how we treat each other and how we play together.